What's going on guys, Awesome Nurture here and today we're looking at the G.I. Joe classified series figures of Wave 1. So at this set we have five new figures and these are the brand new G.I. Joes that look a little bit different as you can see with the roadblock here. He looks a little bit different than like his old classic look but these figures look really good. The boxes look amazing so I feel these G.I. Joe figures are going to be a fan favorite. Now personally for me I don't know much about G.I. Joe. I've seen like the live action movies and then I've watched a couple episodes of the cartoon back in the days. But other than that I don't know much about him at all and I played with old G.I. Joe toys when I was a kid of my brother. So the actual characters and stuff I don't know much about. I looked up their stuff to, you know, kind of get the basics of what they're about and everything. But in the set, we got some, like, I'd say, like, kind of, like, main figure stuff. We've got Roadblock and Snake Eyes, which, of course, we did the Deluxe Snake Eyes a couple months ago, which was really cool. But this Snake Eyes is a little bit different. They've changed some of the colors and stuff. But I think I like this one a lot better just because I like the all-black figure compared to the one that had, like, the grayish-looking pants. But he comes with a little bit different accessories, almost all the same stuff, just to change, like, the guns and stuff. But, of course, we'll look at that. And out of the Joes, we also got Duke and Scarlet. So that's pretty cool too so we got duke which of course won like the main leaders and scarlet which is like the main female of the series very cool as well again with some more like futuristic looking weapons and stuff but these look super cool i love the box art so like especially on the duke here it's like an old classic looking duke like artwork and stuff but yet more modern at the same time where compared to like the other figures they have you know like representation of the figure like they took and drew that but for some reason the duke looks like an old classic 80s gi joe but i love that artwork though just the colors and stuff they chose for the box look amazing with the blue and everything just look cool and then we got our only cobra character which is destro which is very cool i think this figure just looks amazing with color especially the silver head just looks awesome comes with some accessories the box is a little bit different though where most of the joes are all blue he has a lot of red so of course his picture though but then like the top of the box has the cobra logo and stuff and it's all red like half the box is red and speaking of the boxes so like on the side here we have some stuff of like whatever they're about and everything just different stuff that kind of fits in with like their personality and characteristics but the coolest thing is the artwork on the back just this artwork looks amazing it's like such a cool looking poster we have a lot of the same characters some additional characters like we have this guy here again i'm not familiar with gi joe so i don't know a whole lot of characters have all sorts of vehicles down here at the bottom which i know we had a couple of gi joe vehicles when i was a kid so we asked them to see if they come out with like those and stuff that's always a big part of gi joe but then we have cobra up there and the top cobra commander and then the female villain stuff and all sorts of other characters on the box and i hope we get some of them in the future i think that'd be really cool and then on the other side of the box they just have a picture there again of like for this one for destro and stuff and up close there of his face so just very cool looking figures overall the boxes are cool i'm just super excited to get into these like and i'm not a huge fan of gi joe but i think these figures look amazing and my brother's happy that they finally came out with gi joe figures but let's go ahead and open these and check them out together and first up here we have roadblock and he's the heavy machine gunner for gi joe so again i don't know a whole lot about him beyond that but i know in the gi joe movie the live action ones this was played by the rock so that's so the only real basis i have to go on him but he is the heavy machine gunner so when we see his weapon it will come into play at that but again the figure itself looks really good these gi joe figures look incredible so if we look up close there you can see his face so again it's just based off some random character no actor or anything but the face looks really good you know it looks you know real human and stuff not weird or anything so that's pretty good and it has a nice beard and everything going on there and then he's got a nice bulletproof style vest so in all like green color light green color has a star on there has a red straps going up has a lot of blue details which these gi joes have so have a lot of, like blue and gold into them which makes it look more modern and stylistic and everything and has a whole lot of extra details and stuff that the old ones don't and again the straps coming up the other side but it has this little blue detail design and again, I have no clue what it is, if it's like a communicator or something, but all the Joes have this on them so that you'll see when we go through, so it's weird, just this little blue dot thing. More gold, he has a knife here on his vest, so a nice knife there, as you can see all the detail stuff just slides into the holster there. So just a nice vest overall, his bare arms and no shirt on underneath it, so you can see the arms going into the red and gray gloves there on each of his hand. He has a nice tattoo of like a lion or something looks like on there, and down to his tactical pants, so he has like, it's like an olive green color, so like again, like a dark greenish gray color going on in there, has the pocket details and everything. He has a gold knee pad there on his left knee and then the gold detailings there on his boots with the red as well. So again, it's all like gold and red and blues and stuff added into the outfits and stuff that sets him apart from the classic G.I. Joes and makes it more modern or futuristic. But I don't think the detailings that weird. Like I said, I have no real strong connection to G.I. Joes, so I think it looks cool with that additional detail. It just makes the figures pop more and adds more detail into them. And then of course he has the boots there as well with the gold detail is on for movement. So they have really good movements. So the head can twist, of course, all the way around. It has some nodding and inside there, there is is like a joint so it has some like rocking like it's a little bit of a ball joint down in there so it has some additional movements going on at the neck then to the shoulders we do have a butterfly joint there so it can rock back and forth and then we have the normal shoulder so the shoulder can come up a little bit over 90 degrees looks like rotate all the way around has the bicep twist and a double elbow joint and it can bend up pretty far there as you can see and then we got the hands that twist around and of course flex as usual so it's going to be hard to see his ab crunch but i assume he does have an ab crunch compared to all the others so he has that under there and you can't really take the vest off i'm sure you could work 
work it off of him but it's hard to see up under there of course but it has the, the ab crunch and then it has the new lower ab crunch so it has a little bit of crunch there right at the waist and then that's where the twist is as well so if you saw the snake eyes one and we'll see it in future figures you'll see that joint right in there the legs come out 90 degrees there out to the side completely flat so he can do the splits thigh twist double knee joint that bends up about that far for roadblock since he's got bigger legs he's got a shin twist right there at the top of his boot and then the foot can flex but of course because of the boot design it doesn't flex too much so but it's got that sort of movement and then it twists side to side as well so again just a great looking figure overall i just really love the look and design him and then of course since he is a heavy gunner he comes with a heavy gun so here's the gun so again like i've mentioned the whole like futuristic thing so they comes with a futuristic looking gun looks like it'd be like a ray gun or something has a lot of blue details going in here to like the barrel part and stuff where it shoot out but it's just a nice big old blaster gun so it has a handle here where a normal hand would be has an additional hand up here at the top so you can do you more like heavy gunning stuff but it also has a handle at the front so i don't know exactly how this would hold because i assume he's right handed so like that so holding the gun as like a normal gun would be there with the finger on the trigger and stuff just as a normal gun oh i do want to show on a gun we got it here it does have a, a cartridge too so like ammunition stuff that can slide up in there that was an additional thing got the gun in his hand here just like normal gun has the butt there you know can go up against the shoulder have a big giant gun like that but i assume since it's the gun and the way it's designed stuff it's supposed to be held like heavy gun so you just put that handle in there and then you get the hands adjusted and he can grab onto the other handle as well and he can hold on to it just like that so you can see it's you know a big massive gun that he's holding on to a little bit more as they would with a heavy gun like this of course it weighs him down a bit but i think that looks pretty good it's nice big and cool again nice big bulky guy with a big giant heavy gun and stuff just looks very cool overall for the roadblock and next up we have snake eyes which again i like this snake eyes a lot you'll see the deluxe version here in a second but this looks very cool and of course he comes like i mentioned with all the same weapons as the deluxe snake eyes so if you missed out on the deluxe one besides all the additional like accessory wall thing you get i think this one is probably the better one because like i said i like the colors overall and it comes with pretty much the same gun there's th this version has more futuristic style guns you know to go with the whole like ray gun type thing where the other one came with like classic original guns but again i like this one a lot overall so if we look it up close again it's snake eyes so this one is in all black so he's completely all blacked out which i really like so you can see the look there of his face he has the visor on everything i like the little red detail there on top then we got his old like tactical off and stuff with the vest and of course he's completely covered as snake eyes but he has the vest on has a bandolier here with some grenades on it that goes into the backpack there and has a katana there with the Rashikage logo the black continues down it's like down his arm he's got a band with some pockets on it, it goes down to his waist where of course he has a belt on with some low pockets and stuff and details all the way around it and then he has the pants similar design stuff to like roadblock and everything just all black color instead he has some thigh holsters on this side unfortunately his knife does not go all the way in like that's as far as it goes that's kind of unfortunate but the other side does have a holster here for the gun so it has the silencer if you've seen our deluxe snake eyes review it has the exact same layout so we have the silencer there in the front then we have the handgun that goes into the holster and the way it's designed so all these guns have these weird holes on them so if you see there the, there's a hole right through the big gun there like the more rifle gun and then we also have the handgun that has a hole well the rifle has a hole into it and it kind of fits perfectly into that hole so you can stick it in there together to be able to put the handgun into the holster and the rifle will then be able to stick into the handgun to be able to hold it all together there on the holster so that's pretty cool but obviously you can just separate out you know stick this up where the sword goes because the sword's just on a peg just like this you can just stick that up there as well if you want but the handgun just fits right into the holster as usual and then the handgun can also hold on to the silencer so you just slide it onto the barrel there and it sticks on so it goes on that but unfortunately it doesn't go onto the rifle like the last version did because there's no like nub or anything for the silencer to go onto so it can only go onto the handgun this time the next thing we've got his knee pads so he's just the all black knee pads and then to the black boots have some shiny details and it has the little toe designs on there as well for his move it's going to be the exact same as roadblock the only difference is we can actually see his joints so again the neck has that same sort of ball in there which i doubt you can still see it on this one we'll probably see it on like duke necks or some but same sort of head movements has the butterfly joint the shoulders only come up about 90 because of the weird points there on the shoulders but you can see his ab crunch so you can see his crunch there like his normal ab crunch he has really good range movement but then he has that lower crunch there the new little thing they've added for the gi joes it allows for the swivel the twist there and it has a little bit of crunch in there as well but in that he's going to be the exact same as roadblock his backpack's kind of falling off there so we won't look at all the moves but everything's the exact same as roadblock and just so you can see the difference here is the deluxe snake eyes so you can see the color difference where the vest on the new one is all completely black where this one has that gray color same with the bandolier the visor is not silver and then the pant color difference again as well and then of course they come with different guns as i mentioned the knife on the deluxe one actually fits into the box though which is nice so again for snake eyes i prefer the all black version i think it looks a lot better but i know if some people want like the guns and everything the, the classic guns that go along with them they'll definitely want the deluxe version but the normal one just looks better to me and next up we've got duke and as i mentioned he's considered like the leader of the gi joes he's actually like the second in command or the second leader of the 
the G.I. Joes. But now the figures we've got here, he's the leader of. So again, looks very nice. Again, a more futuristic version updated of Duke. But I think it looks really good. This is like the perfect, like to me, G.I. Joe figure. Like that's when I see this figure, I just think of G.I. Joe. So I think that's just perfect to me. Again, just with the modern updates. But there's a look at his face. I think the face looks really good. Looks like, you know, really nice and modern stuff. Has the nice blonde haircut. Of course, longer on top, shorter on side. Scar down his face looks really good. Just overall, just nice looking figure. I like the tan shirt. The button-up shirt has some, you know, military insignias and the nice red lapels. I like the dark green up on the top of that. The sleeves rolled up. Brown and red gloves there on both hands. He has a watch on this side that's orange, which is kind of fun. He's got a green bandolier wrapped around him. Again, has that blue little dot detail going on there. Nice green backpack on the back here. It's all green. Just has the shovel painted in there. It'd be cool if you could take that off, you know, use it as a weapon, but just molding onto has some canteens on there as well. Then that goes into his green belt. Nice circle design there. You saw Saint guys had that as well. And it has some more like futuristic looking this thing going on there. I don't know what it is with some more blue detailings. Has a pair of binoculars back here on his belt that attaches onto it. Just pops in there. So a nice pair of binoculars if you can see them there. Just all silver or gray design has the you know visor there. The part you look in there. So that's pretty cool as well. That that's included and can just pop right onto his belt. And then we go down to his pants again. Exact same design as the last two characters. His are just like that dark green. Has the darker green patches there on the side of like leather or whatever. Holster there on his thigh with a gun that has a nice handgun. A little bit more futuristic. Has the gold detailings there on the top which looks cool. So that's right. And his thigh holster down his legs. He's got the gold knee pads as well with some little the blue details and you can see more of the shin guards there and stuff with some silver and the blue and stuff. Then he's got normal military style boots. So very nice figure overall. Again his movements are going to be exactly the same. There's nothing new or different about him so we won't look at the movements but just a nice looking figure overall. And of course he has to come with more guns so he has this nice rifle. Again more futuristic rifle especially with the in there on the barrel. It looks like it would shoot you know just rays or electricity. Scopes there on the top. Of course the button the gun the big larger magazine the grip and stuff so we'll go and stick that in his hand. So there we go got the rifle in Duke's hand. I think it looks pretty good you know you can really get him in all different styles and poses and stuff to hold this gun and everything which will be really fun to play around with and everything but I just think that looks super cool and like I said I think this is like the perfect G.I. Joe so if you want to figure from G.I. Joe but don't with the whole set I definitely suggest Duke because I think he just looks the most G.I. Joe-ish to me. I just think it's an incredible looking figure. The next up we've got Scarlet and I think she looks really good. Her face looks a little bit weird and really cartoonish to me but other than that I think she looks really good especially seeing pictures of her classic style. Obviously it's updated to that futuristic look but I think the colors and everything just fit really well for her and I really like this a lot though but there's a look at her face so again I don't think it looks perfect you know it does look very cartoonish of course she has the very bright orange hair that goes back into the ponytail and then you can see the look at her face she does have a lot of freckles I don't know if you can see that but she has a lot of freckles on her face and stuff and just like kind of like the weird smirk has some earrings and everything in there so I just don't know what it is about it just looks like I said cartoony to me but then we go down so she has the purple shirt on underneath so the purple tactical outfit on you can see with all the paddings and stuff going on I love the contrast of the purple and the yellow looks nice has a lot of gold detail and again has the blue thing there up on her shoulder pad as well she has a knife there right on her strap so it's the knife that can come out and everything i really like that they have the knives all hidden around and stuff which is very cool and the strap goes around to the back where she has two more knives so she has two more nice knives there it has nice serration there on the back of and stuff but two of them that just slide into there and then has a bunch of arrows coming back for her crossbow which is cool so again i mentioned up the armor so she has the chest plate on where they get the yellow and then the gold which looks really nice going down aren't she has yellow elbow pad then the wrist gauntlets there have the nice gold and yellow as well even some of that little blue detailing into the gloves there. And on the other side, she has a big giant like patch or armor piece there on her shoulder with the star on it and the red looks really nice. And then on this gauntlet, you can see it has some like throwing stars stuff, which is cool. Then at her waist there, she has the belt on there, has some gold details there on the front and it's just black everywhere else, has a nice pocket there on the side. Then she's got the pants on a darker gray color there with the red details on the side. And then the yellow and gold knee pads and the shin guards, the blue design in there once again. And you can see her shoes there at the bottom with the all black. It has the red bottoms, yellow on the top and stuff. It's perfect in with those shin guards. So just overall this figure looks fairly nice. I just love the colors of the purple, red, and yellow just all on her all nice in contrast with the additional golds and everything all thrown in. Looks really nice. So I saw Scarlet is like the counterintelligence of the G.I. Joe group so that's what she does. And then she also comes with her crossbow or signature like crossbow. So there we got the crossbow in her hand and stuff. I think that looks pretty cool. Nice individualistic gun. You know she doesn't just have another gun like every other character. She has a crossbow and stuff so it sticks out really well and I really like this Scarlet. And finally we have Destro our villain for the set which is pretty cool. I think they chose him instead of just going right for Cobra Commander and stuff that they gave us, you know, like a second in command type. But Destro here is the leader of Mars of their military armament research syndicate. So he creates and supplies weapons to like Cobra and I think even for the Joes as well, certain weapons. But he works directly for Cobra and then he has the steel face mask on because it's a way to like serve for his crimes and stuff. So sort of like a man in the iron mask type thing. But this figure looks cool. I think it's probably one of my favorite figures from the set. Like him and Duke are probably my two favorite. But I just think he looks really cool. So of course he has the signature silver head there so it's you know nice and shiny and stuff that would 
paint they chose so that's really cool gold necklace on with some red jewel Dane's just in an all black outfit with some like dark gray detailings and silver and stuff but I like the whole like collar around his neck how it's like all like fanned out in the lines and red and stuff reminds me of like a cobra neck and stuff so of course fits that he works for cobra so I just really like that so that's just one cool detail I like about this go along with head so it just looks very nice there as you can see very cool overall he reminds me of like silver surfer and everything by that so then he got his bare chest there as well so it really makes that jewel stand out again his outfit so again mostly just all black has some like dark gray detailings and stuff there some gauntlets there on his arm he's got some rockets there on the right hand nothing on the other hand belt on with some red detailings it goes into his thigh holster that's all red has a nice gold gun there which again looks like a revolver but more futuristic of, of course that fits with all this so that's pretty cool and i like the nice bright holster i think it'd obviously be better painted in with details and stuff but it just really sticks out on the all black body and stuff some gray knee pads and gray boots down at the bottom with the silver tips on the boots and again movements are going to be the same as all the other characters so nothing real different to look at for him he does come with some other accessories though he does have a gun here so again like a rifle nice scope there on the top of it red detailings and everything would fit perfect there for cobra and stuff so we'll go and stick that in his hand so there we go for that so then we also get a briefcase here so pretty cool so cobra there on the front of course it looks like the paint's all messed up we'll have to figure out how to get that all off the side there but nice red cobra there on the back side it's not painted in or anything so that's kind of weird but it case actually does open up you have to kind of get the little buckles kind of lifted up and stuff because that's obviously where it's held on and it opens up and it's like a computer case inside so it has screens so probably some money and stuff bundled up in there and then there's the screen we got I like I like the way they did the screen I don't know if it's a sticker or just some sort of paint but it has some like shininess to it so it looks like an actual screen the Cobra logo then of course all the buttons and everything down inside there a keyboard looks very cool though I like that little detail I wish there was something you could put in here though to go along with it but that's you know just the way it is itself so there we got Destro looking like he's getting ready to run off with some sort of plans to go back to the Cobra headquarters and stuff so that's very cool for him. So that's it for the very first wave of the G.I. Joe classified series figures. I did also want to point out kind of like the height difference between all the characters. So it kind of looks like Duke and Snake Eyes are about the same height. Maybe Snake Eyes a little bit shorter. Of course Scarlet's the shortest out of all of them and Duke's the tallest just a little bit taller than Destro and he's the next tallest stuff. So just there is a height difference between all the characters which is pretty cool. So I just want to point that out. But that's it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed these figures. The Snake Eyes was kind of a little bit disappointing just because we've already done it so nothing new to look at there. Otherwise it would have been really cool. I've, again, I like this version a lot better with all black. But overall, I think this is a really cool sound. I'm excited to see what characters they do in the next wave and stuff. I just really like the look of the details and designs and all the colors and stuff that went into these characters is what make me like these. Again, I have no major connection to G.I. Joe. I don't like like them <laughs> really that all. But I just think the figures look really good. These are really nice looking toys. But I hope you enjoyed the review. Be sure to check out our Deluxe Snake Eyes figure over here on the left or some other action figure videos. But thank you all for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below. Stay awesome out there and I'll see you next time.